taking up the challenge, send two or maybe four, maybe ten homegrown missionaries. Okay? I do not mean you bypass your selection process, your discernment process. I do not mean you, you, you skip the proper preparation and orientation. But I do mean that this church must not shrug from the responsibility if God calls you to send some people out in the mission field. Quite jealous, you know, they need your help because it's just not them doing, they're doing on your behalf. They are doing with your support for them back here in prayer, in finances, in sending people to them. So, why do we do all this? We do all this because, like the things say, uh, he is worth it. Oh, actually, I, I, I like the last slide if possible. The one with, ah, this one, he is worthy. Triple exclamation mark. Scripture tells us, He who is worthy has compassion over all he has made. Psalm 145 verse 9. He who is worthy desire none to perish, but all to come to repentance and by implication to eternal life. 2 Peter 3 9. So that is why he who is worthy commands his church to proclaim the gospel to the ends of the world. Every soul is precious to Christ. And Christ is worth going through all the bad in mission for the very little good to reach every soul. Come, let's go to God in prayer. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. So, Father, we just thank you. We thank you for this morning, for giving us this opportunity to hear what has been shared. And, Father, we pray. We pray that whatever is from you, you speak to your people right now. By the power of your Holy Spirit, open their hearts and their mind. Speak to them. Speak to this wonderful body you have built. Speak to this parish you have built. Speak to the leaders and speak to the people. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Father, they may this church be a truly missionary church for your name's sake. We thank you. We just pray for all this in the mighty and wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And God's people say, Amen.